Have you always thought English is illogical? Do the exceptions make your head spin? For example, we all know that we add a silent final E to make a vowel say its name. Tap becomes tape, bit bite, and mop mope. Just when students think they have English figured out, then they are given words such as have and misread them as have, give and misread them as give. As teachers and parents, we usually tell them, no, that's an exception. Oh, and that's an exception, and that's an exception. It's no wonder that students become discouraged by English, or worse yet, internalize their stupid and hate reading. It is time to think again and look for answers rather than dismissing words as exceptions. Though it's important to know that the vowel sound changes because of the E, this rule only explains 50% of silent final E's. The second most common reason for a silent final E is that English words do not end in V or U. So every time you hear the sound V at the end of the word, you need to add a silent final E. This is true for short words like live and big words like quantitative. It's also true for words ending in U. The next time your student asks you, why do we have a silent final E in choice? You may tell them, because without the E, it would say choik. Or why do we have a silent final E in large? Because without the E, it would say larg. This is because the third most common reason for a silent final E is to soften the C to S and the G to J. Knowing about silent final E's also helps students to confidently know when to use a K versus a C. Make must be spelled with a K since changing it to a C spells mace. Likewise, like must be spelled with a K for with a C it says lice. Silent E's are also added because every syllable must have a written vowel. These are only four of the nine reasons for a silent final E. To learn all nine reasons, check out Uncovering the Logic of English by Denise Side. Discover the rules that logically explain 98% of English words. Or learn more at www.logicofenglish.com.